Hello everyone, my name is Ayush Kumar and my US one is for me E23 CS022 and I am from 4th sem. My section is Arya Bhatta and my subject is Analysis and Design of Algorithm and today's topic is Merge Sort. Let's get started. Merge Sort. So Merge Sort is a very popular sorting algorithm known for its efficiency and stability. It follows the divide and conquer approach. It works by recursively dividing the input array into two halves and then recursively sorting them until the two halves are finally merging them back together to obtain the sorted array. Let's get started. So the first question would be how does merge sort work? So it's very simple. First we divide the array recursively into two halves until it cannot be divided more. For example, uh, we keep on dividing the array until there is a single element remaining where we cannot further divide it further. Next conquer. Now all the subarrays we have, we have to uh, solve it like solve it individually, like sorting them in the correct order. And in the last step, when we do the merge, we are going to uh, merge all the sorted subarrays into one single array, which will be the final sorted array. It should be again sorted. Next, uh, these are a few steps. So here, if we take uh, splitting the array into two equal halves, so, uh, so we here we have a small example. So we have 38, 27, 43, and 10. So in this, we have uh, split the array exactly by half, which we are which we will be using mid equals low plus high by two. And um, in this, we are going to split the array into two halves. And again, the two halves will be again split into further smaller halves here. So as it goes on, it will be uh, when we merge the two sub arrays, then we would be also sorting the arrays. As you can see in the step three, like merging unit length cells into sorted sub arrays. And next, we have the sorted sub arrays here. And in the final step, when we use the merge, then we are going to merge the two sub arrays into one final uh, array, which would be sorted. So uh, we will be tracing the merge sort along with the algorithm which we have. So here we have uh, entire array which would be given an array of uh, let's say some size with, with a low and a high. Low is basically the index, uh, index of the starting array and high will be the length minus one. So here we would check uh, if the if the index is like let's say low is less than high then it will go inside the um, if constraint and inside that we would be uh, uh, calculating the mid based on the low and high we have and uh, we would be recursively calling merge sort and uh, and in the final step we would, we would doing merge so here we have a small example which we have uh, four uh, numbers in an array which is four two seven one so calculating mid so when we calculate the mid we would be getting the value of one and when we uh, when we divide into further more so for example we have an array we divided into two halves so as you can see the length of the array is said to be four so we would be dividing that by um, from 0 to 1 would be a, uh, from 0 to 1 would be a sub array and from 2 to 3 would be another sub array as, it, as you can see here we have done the same thing in the division thing and uh, next we will be sorting the left half of the sub array by again again uh, trying to find out what the mid is based on that we will be recursively calling merge sort again uh, we will be giving the low value as well as the high value and uh, as you can see that initially we had like 4 and 2 in the left sub array which would be again breaking down into further part which would become uh, finally 4 and 2 individually and uh, next we would be using the merge to again merge the sub arrays into a sorted form next uh, the right half so right half again we would be having the value of 7 and 1 uh, and their index would be 2 plus I mean, I mean 2 and 3 we would be getting a mid value of 2 we should be again doing the merge sort recursively and we will be having the base case of 2,2 2 and 3,3 we will be calling recursively and in the final step we will be merging now we will be wondering what merging is so let's, let's get into it so merging of two sorted sub arrays here in the algorithm which we have so here basically this algorithm does is basically checks whether the particular condition is met if the condition is met then it would be adding into a sorted array so the purpose of this merge sort algorithm is basically it takes the first sub array and second sub array and merges it into a, a final sub array which would be sorted. So we also have a small example. So here we have the same example which we will be using I mean, which we were tracing for merge sort. So here we have a low value of uh, 0 and the mid value of 1 which is basically 0 at um, index 0 and 1 at index 1. So in the left sub array we have uh, 2,4 in the right sub array we have 1,7. So previously we had uh, Previously, we, we did recursively sort the sub arrays. Now, why merging? We have to check one thing uh, is, is that we have to check whether the index of i is at less than mid or not. If it is less than mid, and as well as j should be less than high, and high would be basically 3 in this case because uh, it has like length minus 1. 
so in this it is going to check like array of i is it less than array of g so this is basically going to check whether the starting value is like uh, lower than or equal to the array of g if it is then it uh, uh, c of k plus plus so now what does this do this is the final sub array in which k plus plus is basically going to add the newer elements which are said to be uh, let's say which are like to be like smaller than the ith value so let's say uh, we have array of i if that is less than array of j then uh, the array of ith value would be would be sent into the final array which is uh, c of k plus plus um, or else it will be j plus plus so let's let's the comparison step which would make it much easier actually uh, we have array of 0 which is uh, index of array of i which is initially 0 so that and uh, uh, array of 2 which is basically uh, uh, which is basically j j is basically your uh, i minus 1 so that is array of 2 and uh, array of 2 is basically we have 1 so it is going to compare between 2 and 1 so let's see when it compares like is 2 less than 1 that is uh, it is false so hence it is going to be j plus plus and k plus plus j plus plus means uh, here we have array of uh, 2 it will become array of 3 now the comparison is between 2 and 7 so when the comparison is between 2 and 7 uh, 2 is uh, 2 is smaller than 7 so hence it will be a i plus plus so initially the value of i was 0 now it is going to become array of 1 so uh, now the comparison is between 4 and 7 now 4 is of course like less than 7 so now 4 would be added to the final sub array I mean sorry the final array which is basically c of uh, c of k plus plus or else c the array and uh, now we have only one element remaining which is 7 now here while the like remaining elements for example we, are, uh, we have the remaining elements so while we will be searching i is less than equals to 1 this is not required for this case but we when we check is j less than equal to high but uh, j is equal to 3 and i is also equal to 3 then what we are going to do is basically uh, as, though, as there is also an equal sign it should be directly adding the last element to the end of the final sorted array so again we are going to copy back the original array and we are going to uh, print it so here this is the full array is now sorted which is 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 7 that's how the merging uh, happens and we also have a small analysis so merge sort is a stable uh, stable algorithm unlike quick sort uh, mode sort is very efficient because in the all the three cases it gives of n log in complexity and complexity and also we are using the auxiliary space which is o of n and uh, bubble sort is very highly inefficient as you can see uh, uh, its strike complexity is o of n squared and uh, its space complexity of is uh, o of 1 and uh, quick sort is uh, unstable algorithm and uh, in the average case quick sort is going to give o of n log n but in the worst case it is going to give o of n squared which is again um, if compared to merge sort it is bad in certain cases but uh, we also have a few advantages and disadvantages of merge sort uh, so stability so merge sort is a stable al algorithm which means it maintains the relative order of equal elements in the input array uh, so we have the guaranteed worst case performance so for example unlike quick sort which we were getting o of n squared which is highly uh, inefficient but here we have a uh, we have a declaration of like the the sorting cannot go ba badder than o of n log n which again it helps in uh, sorting the large data sets and it is very simple to implement and uh, we can also use merge sort for parallel processing but there's also a few disadvantages when we use merge sort uh, the space complexity is really high compared to the others so uh, using it it requires additional storage and uh, not in place so basically merge sort is a not in place sorting algorithm which means it requires additional memory to store the data this is again a disadvantage if compared to the quick sort that's why the quick sort you know actually takes over the merge sort so merge sort is lower than quick sort in general as quick sort is more cache friendly because it works in place so conclusion basically comes with the thing uh, the merge sort has consistently speed uh, consistent speed is more and stability is also more but weakness is it uses higher memory usage so this is uh, merge sort is best for large uh, data sets where memory is not a constraint and, and stability is required but quick sort overall in general is better than merge sort due to the memory thing so that's it for the video i hope you like the video thank you